Did you guys hear? Did you hear the news that the Orville is uh, starting production uh, in January ish, around January of 2025? What? <laughs> did you guys know that? Oh, is yeah. It what? <laughs> yeah, we have Geek Flag saying the Orville still alive in 25. Yes, it is. And uh, I do have a little story. I've told this story before, but. Uh, a couple years ago, when season three was still airing, I was just doing the math up in my head. I'm like, okay, there's got to be a season four. Uh, the, the show deserves it. But I was doing the math. I'm like, okay, S Seth has this contract, and he's got some things he's got to do. I know how long it, it, it takes for the series to be made and to get into production. So I just gave a little – I sent a little message to Orville Production saying, hey, um, congrats on the show. Season three is going great right now. But I don't see you guys coming back until 2025 because that's what the, I mapped it up in my head. And then as soon as I press enter, they read that, I get a phone call I, uh, right on my phone here. And, and you know, they're just kind of, you know, saying, oh, without there is no Orville without Seth MacFarlane. We've got to, you know, wait for Seth to, to be ready. He wants to do more. Uh, you know, all, all the things that you say, say, hey, well, what did you find out, JP? Who told you something? Nobody told me anything. I just thought about it for a little bit. And, and now here we are. We're, we we have heard from Scott Grimes that the Orville is getting back into production in 2025. Yeah. The Orville soothsayer, a.k.a. moi, was, was correct, I guess. I saw the video of Scott Grimes making the announcement that uh, and he always says this uh, in in this time during uh, uh, Orville production uh, that he doesn't know much more than we do, but he does know that it was they're supposed to come back into production um, January January February of 2025. So that gives them about what maybe six months to write the episodes. Oh, less than that. Uh, less than what, that. Four, yeah. four, a little like four and a half months, which is basically yeah. four months. And if we're four months out from production starting, that means there's some episodes written already because they don't well, they don't really get in into the groove until all the episodes are written for the season, and then they start building and setting things up uh, uh, according to what Seth has written in the scripts. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be kind of tight because if the episodes are going for an hour each. That's like, and we have what eight episodes or more. That's eight hours of writing. That's a mm -hmm. lot to do in. Well, life. he has had a couple of years to to get it going, and we do have one episode that's already finished. Oh yes, yeah. sympathy for the devil. So he's got one off the list right there. Though I do wonder, are we going to get a full? Well, I guess it's full now by nowadays standards, ten episodes, or hope, or or will it be eight? We don't know the the amount of episodes yet. I'm hoping for at least ten to kind of. Yeah, it's trying to recreate what we are used to. Well, I, you know, it's funny. Um, you know, when the news got to me, you know, it was like everybody, my my phone was blowing up. Oh, Scott Grimes made the announcement. Scott, and and of course, you know, when I heard from the evangelist himself, when I heard from you, and you were like, "Hey," I'm like, I knew, I knew it was sound because I'm like, okay, JP, I know because of what of, of JP's past and his connections. And my connections, I'm like, yeah, I, I know that to be true. Um, I think it's great. Um, we know that it's going to be baby steps. We know it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, we understand that, you know, with Ted going on and doing well, and they're doing the second season of it, you, we knew that it was going to take time for this to happen and all. But the mm -hmm. fact that now we could put the naysayers to bed, now that all the doubts and everything else that's in between, you know, the speculations, the theories, and everything else. I, I love, I crack up when I see these people making their theories. Well, well, this person said this and they're not sure they're coming back. And, and I'm just sitting there like, oh, you poor souls. you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, for me, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. It, right. it, to me, it's officially official. I mean, I know the internet being what the internet, internet is, uh, there are still people right now, this minute who don't quite believe it's official because the studio hasn't announced hasn't announced it yet, but right. with all the information I've been given privately, with the things that I've seen, with Seth saying that there will be more, uh, and now with Scott saying the production starts in January 2025, uh, that's a that it, it's as good as done. It's it's officially official to me. Uh, mm -hmm. The 
I think the pressure of Scott making the announcement uh, that's been been put upon uh, the studio is means that we'll get that announcement sooner then later for me i don't need the announcement it's it's as good as is official uh but the public does deserve a little bit more meat to chop onto because we've waited so long we've all waited so long uh but i want everyone watching this right now do not worry it's it's pretty much official yeah (laughs) it's coming out (laughs) Good things come to those who wait. So. Yeah, there you go. nobody yeah. waits like the Orville fandom. Yeah. I see people are mentioning if uh, Disney has been mouse- announcing anything. Guys, remember, D23 just happened. This news came from a cast member, not an official crew member. So if, if, if anything, this wasn't D23 ready yet. Usually at D23, you're going to get actual production stills. You're going to get concept art, something to show that they're working on it. Mm. That's not ready yet. They haven't even built sets or anything yet. Give them time to get that mm. ball rolling. Then you'll yeah. start seeing what stuff and, is actually happening. And Jace, how would you know this? How would you know this huh? kind of information? <laughs> how would you what? know all this? Like, like, do you have experience in this area? What? 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 I may have cast member experience. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I may be ex-Disney cast member. That's fine. <laughs> no things. <laughs> And the Orville is a Disney is a Disney product. Yes, it is. Disney straight up owns the Orville outright, and you know, and Disney is a big studio. They've been a big studio for a hundred years, and uh, they know how they like to do things. They like to either have a, an event in order to sneak some uh, uh, an announcement into, or uh, like you're saying, some footage of actual production of something being done, and uh, they're they are. They have a lot to build because after uh, season three finished production, before season three even aired, they struck all the sets for, uh, mm. for uh, on the Fox lot. They um, some things were put into storage, and other things were just tore down and thrown away because they not knew- the ship. Sorry, not the ship oh, though, right? Oh, like the the big model ship. Yeah, like the the actual set for the ship, like the two story. Oh, like the bridge and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, some, they, some of that they kept, and then uh, other things that they, they figured they were just rebuild. Because sure. I don't even know if uh, they're going to be on the Fox slot this time. They were only on the Fox slot for season three because they started season three uh, on the Fox slot before uh, it, 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 it fully moved to Hulu and as a Hulu original and all uh. that stuff. So they're. So they were renting that studio, and, sure. and uh, uh, they told me that in order to keep everything in in storage, it would have cost like three hundred thousand uh, dollars a rent. month. Yeah, the yeah. rent. And it was like, well, it'd be cheaper Aww. just once we get renewed to just build the things that you know that we need to rebuild. <laughs> but will it be? Uh, will they rent another couple studios at the Fox lot or they got some Disney, something at the Disney studios uh, with that? We will have to wait and see Mark Lawrence. Nice. Thank you so much for that $5 super chat. Hey, this thing is working. Wasn't uh, was awesome being there when Scott Grimes made that announcement at Star Trek, Las Vegas was in my blue <laughs> different jacket when he said it. Yes. Mark Lawrence funny. Uh, is a true hardcore Orville fan. He has, the blue zipper jacket. Very much appreciate. We have lots of live shows and videos to come out with for years to come, especially with season four of the Orville. Uh, now, basically, everybody knows it's going to be a thing. Uh, I didn't mm-hmm. even necessarily need a new season to keep talking about the Orville, but it's going to be nice to be able to keep talking about the Orville with new episodes yeah. and new adventures. I do kind of want to uh manage expectations we kind of got into it a little bit with season four starting production uh you know a lot of people just assume they're going to show up and start filming filming Uh, yeah yeah but that's not how it works it's it's starting production uh in january 2025 which means people are going to show up they're going to start building things they're going to start uh figuring out film schedules uh Mm -hmm. um they're going to uh look for locations um, especially for uh, sympathy for the devil, yeah. Costumes departments are going to be getting their sections all set up, and, mm. and, and I know that just figuring out what they're going to be shooting when uh, takes a long time to do. And then you know, once they get yeah. that set up, then you know you get a, a cast reading, 
And then uh, usually a couple days table after reads. the cast reading, yeah, table read. Uh, a couple days to a week later, they start filming. And that's when the fun begins because that's when they're yeah. really going to start having pictures and, and videos come out for us to uh, mm. to go over. Well, not, not even to mention the fact you got post-production, you got visual effects, depending on what you're going to do. If there's going to be action sequences, you're going to have a, have a stunt team ready. You know, mm -hmm. There's a lot of, lot of other... And then not even mention the fact, you know how Seth is big on music and, and sound. Oh, music, yeah. You know, so you know it's going to be on a large scale, especially if he does... If he does... Uh, the episode, which he, we hope he does, uh, where he's going to be doing location scouting. That mm -hmm. all based on the part, you know, so without giving anything away, but sympathy for the devil, but location scouting in case he can't go overseas and they decide to say, hey, we're going to do it here in the States. Let's look for locations that are similar to what's in the story.